with every guest, we do kind of five rapid fire questions, some golf related, some not golf related. So I'm just going to ask you these kind of first thing that comes to your head. Okay. When you're putting, do you like to putt with a line on the ball or do you just kind of, you know, look at something as a target and try to roll the ball right over that? Always the line. Yeah. Always. Even out of season playing in January that I have to line up the ball. Even well, like today, I, mean, I, I had a couple of putts today that it was like, like a one foot putt. I'm like, I have to line it up. It has to be lined yeah, up. Yeah. I know I'm going to sink it. It way. just has to be lined <laughs> up. Yeah. yeah. Do you putt with a blade or a mallet putter? Blade. Blade all the way. Uh, what's your, your go-to golf ball? I've been playing Callaway Diablos. Okay. You can get them. At, yeah, I would. I'd buy them one uh, for value because you can get them at Dick's or Golf Galaxy for. I think they were two for forty five, and then during like Christmas, I would just bulk load, and they were three for sixty. Mm-hmm. Uh, but earlier this year, I started playing. Uh, I, I got a box of TP fives and TP five Xs, and I've had probably my best rounds of the year with the TP fives and TP five Xs, and I think I'm gonna do a combo like. If I have to, if I'm going to play somewhere a little bit better of a course, I'll go with the Taylor Maids, and yeah. for the rest of the year, I'll just I'll keep using the the Callaway Diablos. We've been having a lot of the TP fives that people are like. That's definitely been the go to of all the guests we've had, and it's it's really crazy. I don't want to play a Chrome Soft, but I I think they feel pretty similar. Um, yeah, but we get a lot of TP fives. I do not like Pro V ones. I no, do not either. like them. <laughs> I whenever I would get a like a box or something or a sleeve, I just cannot putt with them. It's just I don't know what it is, but they they just seem a lot slower. They're great for grip, like when you're have an approach shot in, they're awesome. But putting, not so much. Yeah. What's a TV or movie character that you most relate to? <sighs> hmm. I'd say Cookie Monster. Okay, I didn't see that coming, but <laughs> <laughs> my wife, my wife's a baker, and um, gotcha. Whenever there's a yeah, whenever she has to get Oreos or something, I'm like <laughs> eyeing those things up as I'm like waiting for her to be done so I could just eat the whole sleeve of them. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So if you weren't golfing, and then like I guess also if you weren't kind of in you know news production, what is it that you'd want to be out just doing? If I wasn't golfing, yeah. If I wasn't golfing, I'd probably be. I'd probably just do like some like yoga or meditation. Okay. I got into yoga mm-hmm. a couple of years ago, and it's kind of been a lifesaver with my back and hips, and um, it's helped like kind of balance me a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Even though sometimes shiny things, and I kind of get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I and if I wasn't working in TV news, I, I really don't know. I always kind of joke that it's like I really can only take pictures and make pictures and audio sound really good. <laughs> I really don't know what I would do. I always wanted to do this. I always wanted cool. to be an editor or a photo- or a videographer or like since high school. So I really I, I couldn't even tell you what I would be otherwise. So a little bonus question because I haven't had someone else kind of in production do you are you like a sit while you're editor or are you a standing desk type of guy uh both i just got a standing desk yeah yeah so from time to time i will i'll edit like standing mm-hmm. but i also i'm so used to sitting i think it's a, it's going to be like a habit to kind of break yeah and it's 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 kind of weird for me to be like about like standing up looking at like building a graphic a 60 second graphic and after effects and putting movement on it. It's, it's mm-hmm. very unnatural right now to do yeah. that. Yeah. We have a cool standing desk that does, you know, the, the actual speakers and your monitors and everything that works for stereo. But when we do stuff more then it's like, I, I'd almost am like afraid of getting too used to it because then if I'm trying to do Atmos or five, one, it doesn't work. That little bit of height difference just throws everything off. But yeah. You work, you work in audio and you wear headphones, right? Uh, it depends. It, most of the time, I, like if I'm editing or mixing, it's just on speakers right in the studio because we've got a few different studios. Um, if it's something where we're like doing audio cleanup or tuning a voice, 
Um, certainly when I do audiobooks, I'm always right on headphones, but anything else, you know, we have big monitors that we're just listening back. Yeah. I went through a period, um, not currently, it's a couple years ago, and I would wear the Apple earbuds and I would have headphones plugged into my speaker and I edit, um, uh, stereo. So I'd have like left channel, right channel to hear everything and balance it out. Mm -hmm. But I would also put like music on while I was editing, (laughs) editing a story. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so I'd be like editing like a two and a half minute um, story with a lot of sound that I want to make sure the sound is all balanced. But I would have like the Lion King soundtrack playing in the background. <laughs> That's similar to what my videographer Cody does. He'll he'll have like a Twitch stream up and like have that going and playing. And then he'll be like cutting like a dance recital or a music video. I'm like, I don't know how he does it, but he's always got something yeah, else going I- in the background. <laughs> I, 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 there was a couple, like some of my best stories that I've ever done, like I would, I would listen to music while I edited and I don't know how I did it. (laughs) It it, it happened. Cool. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time and just give everybody where they can find you, find your photos and, and, and kind of just more about yourself. I gotta look this up. I don't even remember what my Instagram handle is. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> All right, so my Instagram handle is a derso underscore photo, and just you know, kind of give me a follow. And um, I post a lot of like golf course stuff, but I also take photos of my cats when they're out and about, or you know, <laughs> nature. Or um, I like shooting like food. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, any any photographers out there want to kind of give me some critiques or kind of help me out? I'm I'm always looking to learn and kind of get better and hopefully keep improving cool well anthony thanks a bunch for taking the time it was fun chatting with you and hopefully we can do it again soon definitely tj thank you so much thanks for watching today's episode to see more of our content be sure to follow us on instagram tiktok and subscribe on youtube we can be found at basic bogeys on all platforms thanks we hope to see you on the next one